Let's have a go at this exam style question on ecosystems. The question says the species of plant in a beach ecosystem changes from the high tide mark to trees further inland. A biologist decides to sample the beach ecosystem to see how the plants are distributed. Figure one is a kite diagram showing the distribution of three plants at each sampling point. And there we have a kite diagram. And part A of the question says, describe the trend shown by species A, B and C. Now let's have a look for the command word. And I can see it's the word describe. So in this question, we're being asked to give an account of the distribution of the three different plant species A, B and C. Now let's unpick the question a bit more by having a closer look at the information we're given. Now the first part of the question refers to the kite diagram up here. Let's remind ourselves what a kite diagram is. Now kite diagrams are used to show the distribution of organisms and how that changes across an area. And that's done using what we call a transect and counting the number of organisms of a given species at set distance intervals along the transect. Now if we have a look at the graph up here or the kite diagram, we can see on the x-axis we've got distance from the high tide mark now, the high tide mark is just the point at which where the sea comes up in the, when it's the highest tide. So it's the highest point that the sea reaches um, on the shore. And we've got the units here are metres. And we can see that the number of um, species have been counted every 200 metres because it goes from 100 here to 300 to 500. So every 200 metres, they counted the number of species A, B and C and recorded it. And this kite diagram is showing the data for that. Um, and see, so on the y-axis, you can just see the different names of the species or, or it's just been, they've just been named A, B and C. So what we need to do now is we need to think about how we might describe that trend. So we can see by the kite diagram that species A is actually, in terms of the distance, is much further from the high tide mark compared to species B and C because we can see that that ranges from 500 metres up to over 1,100 metres over here. So we could say that species A is further from the high tide mark, whereas species C is closer to the high tide mark, and species B is in between the two. Now, what a good word to use in, to, in the answer is the term abundance. And that means how large a quantity of something. So if something is abundant, then there's a lot of it. So let's try and use that in our answer. So we could say species A is most abundant meaning there's most of it, most abundant further from the sea Well, species C is most abundant closest to the sea. And then we need to say something about species B being in between. So species B is most abundant in between species A and C. And you've got three marks there, so you'd have one mark for talking about <coughs> the distribution of species A being furthest from the C, or you could put high tide mark there. One mark for saying species C is most abundant closest to the sea, again, or you could use the term high tide mark, and species B is most abundant in between species A and C would be the last mark.